I am back, back with another freaking video, man. Y'all know what it is, man. I'm Dolo Solo over here, man. Snapper. As you can see, she's not with me, man. She is recovering from dental work. I know y'all like, man, she had dental work this day and she back. She had dental work this day, man. It's been a long process, bro. If you ever had a whole bunch of dental work man, done, a whole mouth reconstruction, it is a long process. But man, I have missed y'all, man. Been back, man. I'm back, man. I'm back now, like I never left, man. But I have missed y'all. Um, so I want to get ready to get this thing crunk back up, man. I I just saw this. Um, I don't know how many of y'all know this guy, but it's the first time seeing him. It says, being a short South African in the U.S. Um, Luiso Madinga. Comedians of the world. So let's hear this look, this joke. I think it's a, it's a Netflix piece. So it's about four minutes. So let's get this cracking. Yes, yes. My name is Loiso Matenga, uh, which they mispronounce when I perform in New York. Uh, simple African name. No sounds. No one has never heard in that word before. Loiso Matenga. But they call me Loiso Mandingo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? Why his voice automatically went straight American? I am Luis Mandingo. He's go. <laughs> yeah, which brings up different imagery. Um, but with energy, they do it with energy. Your next act all the way from Africa, Luiso Mandingo. <laughs> and then I walk out <laughs> and disappoint all the ladies. That ain't no Mandingo. <laughs> I'm short, I get it, all right? I'm short, I don't fight this, all right? I'm not one of those angry short guys who walks around thinking that Top Shelf is a secret place where tall people hide the truth. It's, uh, <laughs> I accept this, is that in the States, the black people there are huge. They're, they're huge. Back home, I'm, I'm average height, okay? This is the descendants of the ones that didn't make the boat. That's what this is. Um, <laughs> This is what I forgot. Yo, wait. Wait, let that marinate, man, for a minute. It looks like now, people. <laughs> Thanks, America. <laughs> Huge. So when I got to New York my first time and I saw a short guy, I was like, okay, this guy is from back home. <laughs> and I went to him and I was like, hey, man, uh, uh, where are you from? Like, New York. Okay. Um, where are you from? <laughs> New York. How far back? Slave days, New York. I was like, why would they import you? Like, <laughs> to wash the other blacks? Like, give you a, give you a brush on a long stick, just mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, you was mighty dirty today, Shaq. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm fighting these stereotypes, even though I am from stereotypical Africa. I'm from like a village, like National Geographic's Africa. Like <laughs> when I said Africa, what you guys pictured? But I use people's lack of understanding of Africa to my advantage sometimes, right? I like to make up things about Africa, right? Like, especially to those Americans. We all know those Americans, those ones. Yeah, those <laughs> Americans, right? Like this one guy, I've got these scars on my face, right? These scars on my face, boring story, car accident, I was two years old. I don't remember that stuff, but I got tired of telling that same story since I was a kid. So when this one guy was like, hey man, don't mean to be rude or anything. What you about to be? How do you get those scars? I told him it was a baboon attack. Why well, I knew it was gonna be so, <laughs> something ignorant. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a baboon attack. I was a kid. I saw a little baby baboon, and I wanted to play with it. And the mother saw me, and I got onto me. But I could see the way this guy was 
listening to the story, he's not hearing it the way I'm telling it, because he's just looking at me like, <laughs> Africa. <laughs> I imagine he's hearing this like those old school. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Cool documentaries about Africa. You know those old school 80s documentaries? I'm telling the story, but all he's hearing is <laughs> The African child plays in the savannah. <laughs> he has spotted the baby boon. <laughs> Don't get too close now. <laughs> the mother has no. seen him. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> bro, that little snippet was so funny, bro. No, I remember when they used to have that when them don't used to pop up. I ain't that old, but I remember when I don't know what I was looking at when you come up and they do the doo -doo 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 -doo. you hear that in the background, what the heck, bro, like. Like the scene about to get real crazy. But yo, this cat is funny, man. This dog funny, man. Was Loyeso Madinga. Yo, if he got some more, I gotta react to it, bro. He is okay. Got a winner. Got a stand up winner, man. It was some other stand up comedians y'all asked me to recommend too. That was from South African, but this one popped up first. So I'm definitely gonna look through the comment section. I'm gonna pull up some of the ones that y'all were talking about and actually, you know, add those to the channel as well, man. So I got more comedy coming. Um, so that was being short in South Africa in the US. We're gonna keep dropping these bangers for y'all, man. We're gonna get out of that. Let's go.